Kandy, gateway to the central province, a region bursting at the seams with historical sites, hence the tourism title of the Cultural Triangle. We stayed at Jetwing Candy Gallery. Just 10 minutes drive from the city centre, a lovely riverside setting means you get the best of all worlds here. Easy access to cultural sightseeing, but also the luxury of space, peace and quiet, and ultra-modern five-star facilities. There are 26 luxury rooms and suites, all with lovely river views. If you're an early riser, a bird-watching walk along the riverbanks with resident naturalist Bandera sets the day off to a great start. Candy City demands at least a full day to explore. Surrounded by lush hills and centred around Candy Lake, it's steeped in history and full of colour. Its best-known attraction sits in prime position at the far end of the lake. The Temple of the Tooth Relic is the most important Buddhist shrine in Sri Lanka, so it's really a must-see if you're in Kandy. You could easily spend a couple of hours here, there's lots to see. It's a huge complex with lots of different buildings, a museum, lots of different shrines. Most tourists will come for the drum ceremony, which has just stopped, <laughs> which takes place three times a day. For tourists, 9.30 and 6.30 at the most popular times. After visiting the temple, take a lakeside stroll or watch the world go by in town before heading to the elegant and spacious botanical gardens, home to over 4,000 species of plants and trees. Candy is also the starting point for the Peko Trail, a 22-stage, 300-kilometer mega hike. I walked stage one with local guide Ramley. Okay, so this is the first sign we've seen. Yes, and this gives you the rundown of the first stage of the Peko Trail. Okay. So the whole distance is uh, somewhere around 15 kilometers. Yeah. And we are at the crossroads somewhere over here. is pretty much uh, candy in a nutshell. We started our trail from over there. We are surrounded by mountains and right behind the mountain that the stupa is there, that is where the candy city is. Over there you get the Hantana Towers and then you get the lizards back and then you get the peaks where the Temple of Doom was filmed and then you get the Boar's Rock over here. It's incredibly accessible, isn't it? We're literally uh, sort of 10 minutes up from candy. Yes. Uh, at, at the start of the trail. Yeah. And this whole trail takes around about four hours, yes. 15 kilometers. Yes, yes. So tell me about this, the other stages. When it comes to the second part, you get to focus more on the origins of tea. And right. when it comes to the third part, you have like a camping experience over there. So every part individually has its own highlights and its unique yeah. experience. And you're getting high, progressively higher and higher, aren't you, as you head up towards an Aurelia? Yes, yes, yes. So, so presumably are... the walking gets tougher. This is relatively easy. Yeah, but you know what they say, right? The climb might be hard, but the view is great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the scenery all along the route is wonderfully varied, and having a guide with you makes all the difference. Such a special The local version of uh, Cotton candy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's treat time. <laughs> Spicy so candy floss. It's sweet and also it, ha it has flavour, not just sweet. <laughs> Difficult to eat. Oh yeah. Just, it's not spicy. Oh, no, it's not ah. spicy. <laughs> I was waiting for that moment. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> 